reptiles in reptiles if you see the structure of the heart now as usual there are two atria and the ventricle is incompletely devoid so still i use the term three chambered heart that's because the ventricle is still a single chamber and it is, has not been completely separate so as usual there is left atrium there is right atrium and a single ventricle is present sinus venosus is still present it is the pacemaker sinus venosus still is present but the trunkus arteriosus is absent now out of the three pairs of aortic arches only three are left from the right ventricle you can see one pulmonary arch pulmonary arch is there and remaining two are systemics so you can see one systemic here and another systemic here so two systemics this is the left systemic this is the right systemic we use the term left because it's going to the left it's going to the right not where it is originating hmm? so this is taking oxygenated blood this is taking deoxygenated blood this is taking mixed blood i mean the left systemic will take the mixed blood the right systemic will take oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood is taken outside by pulmonary arches so that's the condition of reptiles so reptilian heart reptilian heart is incompletely divided ventricle it is still three chambered heart only two atria and one ventricle which is incompletely divided in reptiles there is still incomplete double circulation because there is mixing of blood here associated with heart on the dorsal side sinus venosus is present sinus venosus is the pacemaker and on the dorsal side sinus venosus is present but on the ventral side trunkus is absent number of aortic arches only three aortic arches only present there are only three aortic arches that includes one pulmonary and two systemics all the three aortic arches directly originate from the ventricles pulmonary originates from the right ventricle and two systemics directly originate from the left ventricle the left systemics take the mixed blood and the right systemic will take the oxygenated blood and the pulmonary arch it will always take the deoxygenated blood